Hi, welcome to one of the latest builds of Arc Linux, or 18.12.7. And this video is about HBlock. HBlock is one of the articles that we've written on ArcLinux.com and it's ready and you can use it and you can improve your own internet experience with it. You can uh, use it to secure your system more privacy while blocking ads and tracking and malware domains and Hector has uh, made this uh, all possible Now when I was uh, Making this tutorial and later using it. I found out that uh, one of the domains was uh, also blocked and that was my analytics.google.com domain some of you that have a website will know that it's a tracking way to track uh, what people of how uh, who, who comes to your website and from what country etc etc so a, a free service of uh, Google to track and to analyze your traffic now that this was blocked uh, this information um, so I asked to improve HBlock and he did so we come up now with a new HBlock 2.0 and it has an, uh, a new way of handling whitelists and blacklists. So let's start um, just installing control T sudo pacman minus s hblock but it's actually coming from git so the application calls is the name is hblock but since it's come it's coming from git that uh, is a suffix and if we install this application nothing happens and that's why these three lines are here what will happen is that the etc, let's move that one over here, that etc hosts, I have typed it wrong, hosts. So this one, with right mouse click, make sure you open it with Sublime Text, for instance. Uh, let's put this one here so we have everything in view. Let's type it again hosts so this file will get a backup later on it says here etc hosts this one will be changed to block 100,000 it's actually 103,000 advertising tracking and malware domains what you need to do in order for it to work is type hblock minus b and that stands for backup make a backup so when this runs is then the script from uh, the developer runs from Hector, let's call him, and he uh, will get all the data, all the, the blacklisting from all the websites, and put it in one big long list. And everything that's in here, all these domains you see, are pointed to 000, meaning they never get out, they will never leave your PC, they, you can't go to them, it's not non existing IP, which is good, but. Like I said, um, analyticsgoogle.com, if you look for that word, let's try it again to see if I can. Uh, yeah, it is correctly written, I think. Analytics, analytics.google.com, there you are. So, analytics.google.com exists in this uh, blacklist because it's all a blacklist it's the hosts and the hosts is changing the IP address of this website to zero zero meaning I can't get there you're refused it's so impossible to actually look at the website because it's in here now 2.0 hblock works now with a hblock D folder so in etc we have and if you're building this um, by hand or manually or getting it from somewhere else make sure you have a folder hblock.d and a whitelist and a blacklist, a blacklist file that's it open it up let's copy paste analytics.google.com in there for every uh, new element that you come up with a new line and that's all you need to know save it and run of course it again because it's going to get it again
And this time around, I hope I don't see it anymore. So when I try to find this, it's not impossible to find it. And when I go and try to have a look at it, I can indeed surf to my own information here. So that works. So basically, um, there's a 2.0. We have a whitelist and we have a blacklist. Put anything in there, what you like. Use domains. So no HTTPS, just like this here as an example. And that's um, what you need to do. And well, your experience on the net will be so much more. Well, will be different anyway. Enjoy HBlock.